Welcome to Crafty Chemist Designs. Today, I will be doing a walkthrough of the September-October 2023 Close to My Heart catalog. Let's take a look inside. First, we have a greetings from our CEO, Jeanette. And there's also an explanation of the benefits of becoming a maker or the benefits of becoming a VIP customer. The first item in the catalog is the Your Smile stamp set. It is our special stamp set for charity for Operation Smiles. $7 from this purchase goes to Operation Smile. We have a new Cut Above Layout Kit. You can use the materials in this kit to create two coordinating 12 by 12 two-page layouts. The first collection in the catalog is called The Good Life. The colors are Mist, Harbor, Mocha, Espresso, and Toffee. I love the look of this collection. It's masculine and homey and really beautiful. The paper collection includes six sheets, two each of three double-sided designs, and then you can purchase it with or without the sticker sheet. Let's take a look at these close up. The first one has a really fun windmill on it with a background um, grid pattern like a ledger sheet. And on the reverse side is a really pretty wood grain pattern with a little mist color. This one is like corrugated steel and on the back is mocha with polka dots. This is a blue check pattern gingham and on the reverse is a sort of a white painted wood grain that's been scraped off. This is a sticker sheet. There's some nice little sentiment tags. A cute homey feel, home sweet home. You've got the truck and a little milk, milk jug. You can also get it without the sticker sheet. Close to My Heart also curates a set of coordinating cardstock. And the Good Life coordinating cardstock includes 12 sheets, two each of these um, six colors. You've got French vanilla, espresso, mocha, toffee, harbor, and mist. That was mist, harbor, toffee, mocha, espresso, and French vanilla. These are all 12 by 12. The set of embellishments for this collection are die cuts. You get one sheet of coordinated wood grain printed paperboard die cuts. The sheet is six inches by 12 inches. And look how nice and thin those die cuts are. So they give a little bit of dimension to your pages, but they do not add a lot of bulk. You can even put these on cards and not have to add extra postage. We also have the Good Life Digital Art Collection. You can cut a variety of shapes that coordinate with the Good Life Paper Collection. There's a scrapbook layout plus two cards already designed. The Good Life Card Making Stamp Set is so beautiful. It's right here. This one does not come with thin cuts. And then we also have the scrapbooking stamp set. Those do come either with or without the thin cuts. The scrapbooking workshop is really gorgeous. You get all of the materials you need in the kit to create these three um, coordinating 12 by 12 two page layouts. You get the Good Life paper pack and sticker sheet, um, five cardstock sheets, Harbor, Toffee, Mocha, and Mink. You get exclusive pattern paper, die cuts, um, exclusive sheets of die cuts, and you can get it with or without the page protectors. And the feature technique is coloring die cuts with colored pencils. This is the card making workshop. You use the materials in this kit to create 16 cards for each of these four designs. Three of them are regular A2 size cards and one is a slimline card. You get the exclusive B-size stamp set and coordinating thin cuts, good life pattern paper sheets, 
four cardstock sheets, one set of silver glitter gems, white card bases and envelopes, and then some slimline card bases and envelopes. All you need for all of those cards. The next collection in the catalog is called Home for Christmas. Look how gorgeous it is. The colors in this catalog are, or in this collection are Scarlet, Candy Apple, Pine, Jade, Mocha, Mink, French Vanilla, and Black. Let's take a look at the papers. You get 12 sheets, or six sheets, two each of the three double-sided designs. They're, they are 12 by 12 with a zip strip. Let's take a look at these. Here is a front. Oh, these just scream Christmas to me. I love this red plaid design. And on the reverse is a gorgeous wood grain pattern. Here's a background uh, green design. And then on the back is a chalkboard with writing. Beautiful poinsettias. And then this one has a variety of little Christmas icons. You can get it with or without this sticker sheet. There's some nice titles for scrapbook layouts. Some cute little um, designs, tags, and little sentiments. The Home for Christmas Coordinating Cardstock um, is 12 sheets. This one you get three each of four colors. And these colors are French Vanilla, Black, Pine, and Candy Apple. I love the look of those together. There's Candy Apple. Here is Pine. And I love that they threw in Black and the French Vanilla. Both of the collections in this catalog are using French Vanilla instead of White Daisy. I do love that. We don't use that enough. The embellishments for this collection are the Home for Christmas die cuts. You get three sheets of coordinating Black paperboard, candy apple cardstock, and pine cardstock. And these are meant to sort of layer together. Like, look at the black stocking that you can put over the red. Isn't that cute? And then here is a poinsettia that you can uh, layer. These are really cute. And of course, there's the, the pine. I didn't show a layered with the pine, but there are layers for that. There's also a Home for Christmas digital collection. You can cut a variety of shapes that coordinate with the Home for Christmas collection. I love those package die cuts. And then there's a card and an envelope. And then that little doily is, would be so useful for so many things. This is the Home for Christmas. Christmas card making stamp set. You can get it with or without the thin cuts. I do recommend you get the thin cut because you really are going to want that little garland that the thin cuts cut out. And then this is the Home for Christmas scrapbooking stamp and thin cuts. And you can get it without the thin cuts. But again, this is one you want with the thin cuts because you can cut those little ribbons to go on top of the packages. This is the Home for Christmas Scrapbooking Workshop. You use the materials in this kit to create three coordinating 12 by 12 two-page layouts. I really love this. You get the Home for Christmas paper pack and sticker sheet, five cardstock sheets, four exclusive pattern paper sheets, two exclusive die cut sheets, one exclusive set of Home for Christmas die cuts, and then you can get the um, top loading memory protectors or not. And here is the workshop kit, just to show you what comes in it. You also get all of those uh, photo placeholders. And of course, the instruction sheet. The instruction sheets are so nice. It has the cutting guide where you can see how to cut each uh, paper. And then there's directions on how you place the pieces on the page. It even gives you measurements and everything. So it makes creating these layouts so, so easy. These are the exclusive die cuts that you get. Paper pack. Here you can see these are the punch out die cuts. 
make creating these pages so easy. And I love that the photo placeholders are included so that um, you can know where you put the pages before you, uh, the pictures before you um, actually have your pictures ready. Okay, this is the card making workshop. This workshop um, creates 16 cards for each of those four designs. You get this exclusive B-size stamp set and the coordinating thin cuts. You get two Home for Christmas um, pattern paper sheets. And see, this one is also one that you really need those die cuts because that branch and the twigs are so cute. You get the um, Home for Christmas pattern paper, cardstock sheets. You get um, clear sparkles, the white card bases and envelopes and then white slimline card bases and envelopes. I do have this workshop kit also. I want to show you what comes in that. Again, it comes with some amazing set of instructions that just make creating these cards so easy. So if you need an easy way to make your Christmas cards, this is what I recommend. So there's the um, envelopes, slimline and the A2 size. These are the A2 cards. And then these are the slimline card bases. Here's the stamp set and the sparkles. And the instruction sheet shows you how to cut your papers. So you don't waste any of your paper. Maximizes the efficiency of the cuts. And then again, the directions on how to create the cards. Here's the cardstock that you get. And then the pattern paper that you will need for these cards. And I'm so glad that it was the plaid um, paper in this kit. Because that's my favorite. Okay, this shows us the mix-in paper packs. These papers are meant to coordinate with the two collections that are in um, this catalog. And they this is a really good set of mix-in papers. Now the mix-in papers, you get six sheets, one each of the six double-sided designs. They are 12 by 12 plus the zip strip. I have used some of these, so some of them are no longer 12 by 12. This one has a nice um, kind of plain front, straight back, some grid marks. I love these concentric circles there. This is a nice kind of overall marble look and the diagonal plaid. I love that. This one, you can't really tell, but it had little squares. And then this is the um, kind of wood grain, some red diamonds and red checks some black chalkboard with speckles, and then the reverse is black stripe. There is a coordinating set of cardstock. You get six sheets, one each of scarlet, pine, toffee, mink, and French vanilla. Here's a layout that I created using those mix-in papers, just to show you how versatile they are. Now let's get into the various stamps and thin cuts in the catalog. This page has some really nice options. Um, first, you get the Wished For You stamp set. And then you get the Blooming Frame card front thin cut. And then the Hey Friends stamp set that you can use to stamp on the inside. It does coordinate with the circles thin cuts. This is the Harvest Blessing stamp set does not come with thin cuts. And then the occasional wreath stamp set, you can get that one with or without the thin cuts. I do have some samples to show you of these. This is the stamp set. And um, I created these cards using the Good Life paper pack. Nice harvest blessings. I love those like cattails.
that wreath would make. I think it would also make a good Christmas wreath. Okay, here is a stamp set called Freshly Picked. It comes with or without thin cuts. It's all about apple picking. And then you have the locally grown stamp set. This one is with or without um, thin cuts. And it's about farm animals, farm life, locally grown. It's got a pig, a chicken, a horse, and a, a cow. I do have this one that I did get with a thin cut, so I don't have to fussy cut anything. And what I love about this set is the animals really are realistic. And here I created a layout from the Minnesota State Fair where we went to the animal buildings. I had so many chicken pictures that I had to um, use flip flaps and I also had a lot of cow pictures. I really love this set. It's perfect for farm life, but it was great for my state fair pictures. Well, the next page is a stamp set called Let's Go. And this one is only the stamp, no thin cuts. And then the Nailed It stamp and thin cuts. This one has proved to be very popular already. Everybody does some home uh, renovations, right? This is the Design Elements stamp set, no thin cuts, but it makes really nice backgrounds. And then this is the on the clock stamp set. I love that it has various clocks and with little hands. This set I love, it's called Floral Notes. You can get this one with or without the thin cuts. It's got a beautiful floral spray, but then it also has some really nice sentiments. Um, so it's a really nice versatile set. Um, you can do sympathy cards, thank you cards, love cards, missing you, really almost anything you need. Here are some samples that I created. And um, you can see how versatile they are. And I did color these in with the new colored pencils in the new essentials catalog. So I recommend you taking a look at those. Now the second side of this uh, page, there are three stamp sets here. You've got the Give Thanks stamp set right there, you, um, you've you got the Grateful for All Things, and then you've got the Ready to Gobble, and the Ready to Gobble comes with or without the Thin Cuts. Great for Thanksgiving. This page, there's four different stamp sets, a cup of cheer, which would be great if you're giving, say, a hot cocoa pack or something to a coworker, um, cornucopia stamp set, a Merry Little Christmas stamp set, and Give Thanks stamp set. This is a really fun page. Um, the first one there is from Santa, and that one does not come with a uh, thin cut. And then there's the Merry Christmas. I really love that font. Um, there's Glory to God stamp set. Again, no thin cuts and then um, the fourth set is called Holiday Express and look how cute that is it has some animals in um, a car a train a sleigh and some really cute sentiments like zooming by to say I'll be home for Christmas happy holidays bringing happy holiday greetings and Merry Christmas I made a little sample there zooming by to say Merry Christmas. And then I use the little lights to decorate the inside. I really love this set. And I recommend getting that really quickly because it will sell out. On this page, you have the Stories of the Season stamp set. It does not come with thin cuts. And then this one is Countdown to Christmas stamp set. Again, no um, thin cuts, but it does coordinate with the Circles thin cuts. I did cut these out with the smallest circle on the circle thin cuts. So there you have it. Each number has a really cute um, design to it. And I created this fun um, Christmas countdown card where you can change the number out. So it's like a little advent calendar. 
here's another thing that I created, a little, um, another advent calendar where you can just um, tape on each of the uh, numbers to count down to Christmas. And this one you would just tape down. I just hand cut out those Christmas tree shapes and then stamped, or I cut out all of those circles with the circle thin cut and then stamped the numbers using a little stamp set that I had. And then I stamped all of those uh, numbers out and cut them out with the um, circle thin cuts. And then lastly, I made this countdown to Christmas a scrapbook layout. This would be good to document opening the advent calendar, but also just good for Christmas pictures. Okay, this has got a nice collection of uh, poinsettia items. Um, the first one up there on the top left is the Christmas florals embossing folder. And then the one on the top right is the Christmas floral stencils. And then what I'm showing right now is the holiday banner stamp set that you can get with or without the thin cuts. And there is my sample there. See the poinsettia? Um, I cut it out with um, the thin cuts and then colored it with the new pencils. Those are the stencils and they layer together. Um, there's three different stencils. You've got the poinsettias, you've got some leaves, and then you've got like little um, dots. And they do match up with the embossing folder. Let me put it on a white paper so you can maybe see a little bit better. I really love these stencils. I made a lot of Christmas cards last year with a different set of embossing folders and stencils, and it makes creating cards so easy, quick and easy. There's some samples using the um, embossing folders and the stencils. This set is fun. It's called the Dainty Script Stamp Set, and they are meant to um, go together, so you put them close together and it looks like you're writing in cursive. And then the Christmas alphabet stamp set. I love how they use the letters to write Mary there, and then they use the cursive to write Christmas underneath. And then they use the Christmas uh, alphabet to write holidays. Okay, now we are at the uh, stamp of the month. This is the September stamp of the month called Thoughtful Tokens. It's really nice, um, sort of vintage look to it. I love that butterfly one. Let me get it out to show you a little bit better. So beautiful, very elegant. And I have a sample here for you using the new color of the year journey. And then the stamp of the month for October is called From All of Us. And you will notice something new here. You can get thin cuts for the stamp of the month. I did not. I just got the regular stamp of the month. But um, if you want, you can uh, get the thin cuts. You still get the stamp of the month at the reduced price. And then you just pay um, for the uh, thin cuts on top of that. Remember, um, you can get the stamp of the month for only $5 with a $50 purchase on my website. Or if you're one of my VIPs, you get the stamp of the month free with a $50 purchase. And here I've created some of these cards with um, the little owls. They're so cute. And then on this page, it shows you all of the cardstock colors. And I want to just highlight the new colors this year. The new colors really are amazing. They're very vivid. Um, this is Journey, the color of the year. Love it. And this one is Rosie. 
and I think the name is perfect, perfectly describes it. This is Jade, and I got Jade to do some of my Christmas cards. A limeade, and again, this looks like a pack of limeade from Kool Aid. This is Royal, really beautiful purple. And then we have Pumpkin, and it's exactly as the name implies. And then the last new color is called Acorn. That's it. I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough. I am the Crafty Chemist. I do live demos every Sunday at 4 p.m. Central Time. I invite you to join my Facebook group, The Crafty Chemist Presents CTMH. I do have an Instagram and TikTok at Crafty Chemist Designs. Thanks for watching.